Hi everyone, it's Angie from You Can Create Too. Today's project is a little booklet bound with fabric that is inspired by I Plan to Create on YouTube. And I will link her video down below. So what we're going to need for this, you'll need some book page, which I have right here. If you want to decorate, which I've done, I have some little polka dots. You'll want to get your stamps and some ink out. You don't have to do this. This is just what I did. You'll need about a two to two and a half inch wide strip of fabric that's the same length as your book pages. And remember, you don't have to use a full book page. Here I've cut it down to make a smaller one. You'll need some embellishments. You'll need your glue. I'm using some tacky glue and some all-purpose glue stick. I'm also going to use some Fabri-Tac to adhere my fabric to my book pages. On the inside, we'll make some pockets and then you can stuff it with tags and journaling cards and all of that kind of stuff. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll need are some book pages. I have some of these that are from a newer book. It's a little bit heavier paper. And what I'm going to do here is I really love this book. Uh, that I have that's from the 1800s but its pages are so thin and delicate that they won't hold up on their own so what I'm going to do here they're just so fragile what I'm gonna do is take my glue stick and just put a generous amount on here And then also, just to make sure that my edges are firmly adhered, I'm going to run some tacky glue. You could use whatever glue you wanted. Um, if you don't want to glue, you can stitch these down, which is what I did in the first one that I showed you. I just used a little bit of glue to hold it in place, and then I stitched it on my sewing machine to give a nice decorative edge. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to do another one for the for the back page. So what's everyone up to today? I hope you're having a wonderful wonderful day. Uh, the sun is out and it is absolutely gorgeous outside and I'm loving it. We had some rain the last few days and though we needed it, I was, I was kind of happy to see the sun come back. I'm not ready for summer to be over. And remember, if you don't want to glue, you can sew. If you don't want to sew, you can glue. <clears throat> Excuse me, just do whatever works best for you. I like, I like it both ways. I, I did the first one. <coughs> Excuse me. I did the first one where I stitched it. And then this one that I haven't uh, completely finished yet, I just glued it. I didn't do any stitching. And remember, you don't have to do your pockets exactly like I do. You can change it up. This I did three diagonal, or two diagonal and one straight across tuck. And this has pockets here and here and on the front. So this is just an idea and you can run with it. That's certainly what I've done. If you go and check out the original video that I am going to link below, you'll see that I'm doing it different than she did. So it's kind of fun to just get your idea <coughs> and run with it. 
<coughs> I'm so sorry. Tickle in my throat. And I'm just going to trim off the excess because the other book page is not quite the same as this one. I do hope that uh, everyone's weekend was good. It is just about over and Monday is right around the corner. Yay! Okay, though I'm not ready for summer to be over with, I gotta tell you, the leaves changing outside are so beautiful. Just stunning. Okay, so what we'll do is figure out which one we want on front, which one we want on back. I'm going to give a bit of a stamp just to give it a little bit of interest. Just like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this one will be my front, this my back. So when I flip it open, I have to decide what kind of pockets I want in here. And I'm thinking that I'm going to use my the newer book page. It isn't as aged looking, however, it is a sturdier paper. And you don't want your pockets to rip open and, and uh, when you try to stuff it, so, because that would not be good. All right, so I've just taken a book page. I folded it in half. I'm going to give it a bit of a glue down just to hold it together. And you can see this book page has a tear in it. That's okay because it's going to be face down and that's it's going to be in this corner or in this this side. So it's not a problem at all. I do want to ink my edges and cut a little thumb hole so that it's easier to grab your items that you're putting in. I'm going to give it a little bit of an ink because it makes the edge really pop against the other book page that it's sitting on. <clears throat> Let's glue this down. So right here, there's our front page, or the pocket on the inside of the front page. I'll trim this off, because again, this is the book page that I'm using for a backing, and it's slightly wider than my one from the 1800s that just has this beautiful patina on it. Okay, we're halfway there. Can you believe it? This is such a fast project. I love it. And then you get to just decorate it however you want. I think for this one, I'm going to have a tuck, a side tuck. So you want to fold your book page about however wide you want your tuck to be. I'm going to basically fold it in half. Give it a bit of glue just to hold those layers together. Because it's such a, la a, a large 
tuck. You don't really need a thumb hole, but I kind of like the look of it, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Again, give it a bit of an ink down because it makes that edge pop. And it's going to go just like that. So let's put this guy down. And here you can see that paper was torn because when I took it out of my book, it was not, I didn't do a very dainty job of it, which is fine because you know what? This is a junk journal and it's okay if we have ripped edges. I kind of like that, especially if you hit those ripped edges with a bit of ink. Oh my gosh, the distress ink. It makes them really pop and it's so pretty. Okay, so there is our tuck. I think it's, yep, that looks good. Okay. <clears throat> so next, I'm going to go ahead and ink up my edges just like this, front and back, because I love that look. You certainly don't have to do it if that's not your style. You do you. That's what this is all about, figuring out what your style is and what you like and running with it. You don't have to do um, this edge on the outside but you do want it on the inside, the one where the binding's going to be. I made the mistake of not inking before I put the fabric on and you can still ink. It's just a little bit, a little bit trickier. It gets a little fiddly when you're trying to work around the fabric and ink up the edge of your paper. And you can see I, the way I ink, I am very messy and haphazard just because that's the way I like the look. I like it to look grungy and imperfect. That's just, it's just my style. Okay, so now we have our front page. It'll open with a pocket there. Back page has a side tuck and that'll be our back cover. So now what we want to do is get our fabric out and I'm going to use this really lovely old woven fabric. That it tears beautifully, <clears throat> it frays even better. <coughs> Excuse me, you can see I am not even measuring, I'm just giving myself about two, two and a half inches. And you want it to be long enough long enough for your page so this is extra long and the reason I do that is because I um, I like to fray the ends a bit top and bottom as well just because it looks it looks fun I like that look Okay, so next, what I'm going to do here is I have my front and back page. I'm going to open it up front and back and then take the two of them, flip them over. And the reason I do that so that I make sure that I have my front on the front, my back on the back, <clears throat> and they're both right side up when we flip it back. I like to have about a half an inch spread between the two. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need my hot tea this morning. <clears throat> I like to have about a half an inch spread between the two. That way, when it opens, you have 
a lot of room, a lot of gusset to really stuff this if you want to stuff it and give it as a gift or something. <coughs> so I'm going to run my Fabri-Tac. Right along here. On both sides. And here is where if you wanted to stitch this, you certainly could. You would use less glue because you're going to be stitching it so you don't need all the glue. <laughs> And then I'm going to take this, lay it right down, give it a good press. And you can see I have extra top and bottom. And like I said there, what I like to do is then I'll cut these about however long I want my torn fringe to be. Just like that. And then I will sit and pick these extra threads out. I probably won't do it all on camera because, you know, that would, that would be like watching paint dry. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick these extra threads out so that I have a cute little fringe. And in the first one I did, I cut it flush. And that looks good too. I just really love that ratty fringe like I have on the flower here. So this is the base of our little booklet. You'll open it up. You'll, oh, and you know what? I did it totally wrong. I did, this is, this was supposed to be the back and this the front, but you know what? You can see it totally doesn't even matter which one. So you'll just put your pockets in however you want. We're going to stuff them with tags and all sorts of good things. You can decorate them. Here's the one that I have finished. I just took a little strip of that fabric, cut it up, frayed it, made a little handmade rosette flower and put a little thing in the center there. You can see here I have embellished it with a little a little bit of ephemera and then I've got tags and uh, bookmarks and journaling spots and other journal cards. I got these from someone in the NJJM group and they were so cute. I thought they looked great in here. But yeah, so that's the project. I hope everyone enjoyed. Remember, you don't have to do your pockets like I did. This has tuck pockets in the front and on the inside. So this one I have three book pages that are sandwiched down the center and glued on these three edges to give you four pockets. And then I took a book page and went diagonal this direction and another one in that direction and then I did another one straight across so you have three separate places to tuck in and this one the smaller one you have a pocket here and then two diagonal pockets there and there so yeah that's the project I hope you enjoy I'd love to hear feedback on how it went for you and uh, yeah, let me know what you what you think. I hope everybody has a great day. And remember, I'm Angie from You Can Create Too. And if I can do it, you can too. Have a good day.